I want you to hit me as hard as you can. Hey everybody, Chris Bumber here from JoeBlow.com. You know, all of us hardcore fans have got one thing that absolutely grabs our imaginations from an early age and never lets go. For me, that's always been the James Bond franchise. Throughout its ups and downs, I've always been a giant fan. Girls, guns, gadgets, and martinis, shaken, not stirred. That's 007 in a nutshell. And if there's one thing James Bond's always been a pro at other than the, um, well, you know, obvious, it's doing away with bad guys. As such, here's the JoeBlow.com list of top 10 James Bond kills. Number 10 is a classic from Goldfinger, where Gert Frobe as Oric Goldfinger demonstrates why firing a gun in an airborne plane is a bad idea. Sure, the effect of Goldfinger getting sucked out of the window is a little bit cheesy, but heck, it's unforgettable. Number 9 belongs to Daniel Craig in Casino Royale, where after a frenzied airport chase, Bond sends a bad guy to his doom with a cracked smile to let us all know the franchise was in very good hands very early in this, Craig's first Bond outing. Number 8 is a badass scene with Timothy Dalton in The Living Daylights, where, after a crazy fight in a net full of opium pouches hanging out of a Hercules jet, Bond kills the baddie Necros by cutting away the shoelaces on his boot. This cold-blooded bit is a perfect example of just how tough a Bond Timothy Dalton could be. What happened? He got the boot. <laughs> More Timothy Dalton for number 7, although this famous kill in License to Kill actually belongs to a Bond girl, Carrie Lowell, who sends a young Benicio Del Toro to a gruesome demise in a killing that almost landed the movie in R rating and was actually trimmed by a few frames in the original US release, although the Blu-ray is uncensored. Number 6 is another one from License to Kill, where Dalton confronts the duplicitous killifer who betrayed Bond's pal Felix Leiter to the drug road baddie, with the result being an unfortunate run-in with a shark. In a bit of poetic justice, he becomes lunch for a shark himself, thanks to 007. God. For number 5, we're going to look at Roger Moore. Now, Moore is not known for being a particularly tough Bond, but for your eyes only is the exception. With this cold-blooded bit of business involving a stick pin and a swift kick, being Moore at his most vicious. And you know what? He's pretty damn good. Number 4 belongs to Pierce Brosnan, who sends sexy henchwoman Xenia on a top to her grave with this classic one-liner in Goldmine, the first and the best of the Brosnan bonds. She always did enjoy a good squeeze. Number 3, George Lazenby in Honor Majesty's Secret Service, with a crazy kill that actually secured the film an M rating in 1969, which back then was equivalent to an R, and possibly one of the reasons the film didn't do too well at the box office. This kill and Lazenby's one-liner is a classic. Had lots of guts. Back to Sean Connery for number two with this climatic kill from You Only Live Twice being a classic. Following a knockout dragout fight, Bond sends Blofeld's henchmen into a pool of piranhas, naturally with a bit of Connery class. Bon appetit. For number one, here's an unlikely pick, but a great one. Sean Connery came out of retirement in 1983 to make the rogue Bond pick Never Snever Again. While the movie's not very good, Connor is amazing as the aging Bond, and following a brutal fight, Bond does the villain in with his own precious bodily fluids. No one could have gotten away with this but Sean Connery. Finally, I feel it my duty to highlight that not all Bond kills are created equal, with this bit in Live and Let Die being an infamous example, getting itself a dishonorable mention. Oh well, at least you get to see Yapit Koto turn into a balloon. That's it everyone, go see Spectre this week. For JoeBlow.com, I'm Chris Bunker.